Today's video is on jelly plate techniques for reworking failed prints. If you're like me, you have a big stack of prints that just um, don't quite meet your standards or your current standards. And so it's actually a great opportunity to take some risks, take the pressure off, experiment, play, and maybe learn some new things. Uh, I do want to say that <laughs> there is a window of opportunity and at some point that window closes and there's nothing more you can do for your print. Uh, once it's built up kind of a texture, I find that I can't pull any kind of clean print anymore and I just have to let go and <laughs> let it go to the trash. So. Anyway, let's see what we can do today and see if we can make some magic. And um, yeah, let's get started. We're gonna play around. Um, not, not that much to lose since these are already not okay. And see if we can make magic. It is currently 96 degrees here, 17% humidity, super dry, and I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to do anything but let's give it a shot. I've got my usual tools. I don't know what I'm gonna grab to try and rescue these. This one just, there's so much paint left on the plate. It's got a lot of white skips, so I'm gonna hit it with pyro orange. I'm gonna use the catalyst wedge and bring some color in there so it's not so pale. That oh, said pyro orange, now I'm going to use um, green gold. This will use a little bit of Indian yellow hue here. Okay, that's already better. I'm oh, gonna let that dry now. So let's go for the next one in the stack. This is pretty hideous, so I don't feel any fear at all, which is great. I'm go with quinacridone magenta and some white, and we'll do some different kind of shapes here. So I want a little bit of yellow in there too. This is going to fight with me all day. Let's play around with some of these blossoms here. They're really a little bit compromised, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to use some oleander leaves as well. These oleander leaves really last. Like, I didn't... I picked these a couple days ago and they're still usable. I'm gonna use my Duplo for a little different patterning and we will see what happens to this now. Okay, well, it's better. It's still not a showstopper, but it's better. And instead of picking this up on here, I'm going to use it. I don't think it's right on there. We'll try it on this next one here, or on this one. Try it on this one. Oh. Leaving the paper and the paint on the plate. Actually, I kind of like that. Still need something else. And you can see that there's still paint on the plate. That doesn't usually happen for me, but we are where we are. So let's use this one. I think I want to use the hearts for this. And I'll use teal. Some white. I think I want some purple. Should we go with 
dioxazine purple. Yeah. Okay. All right, and we'll use this nice sheet of hearts from the Key to My Heart stencil set. Okay, um, improvement, still not where I want to be, but look how much paint got left on the plate. That's so weird. I'm tempted to shut the camera off, let this dry, and then try to pick it up. That's what I'll do. Okay, I'm going to say that was about three minutes, and I'm checking by putting my finger on the plate, and no paint is coming up, so I think that's ready to go. I'm going to use white to put over this, and I want to use Nicolazzo Gold, but apparently they are not going to be selling that anymore, which is a terrible development. So I'm trying to find what will substitute. For now, we're going to use Indian Yellow Hue just a tiny bit. Rare that out. And because I'm not interested in having any base sheets right now, I'm actually going to put shapes over this. This poor thing is really limp from the heat of the day. Still want some Lego in here, and maybe I want a little bit of glass too. Okay, let's sacrifice this one. Okay, for that one, I think I want to take the... Uh... Nope, that was not the choice. That's okay though. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna not pick... Leave, leave those bigger shapes so we can see poor flowers. Oh. Okay, I'm um, happy with that, especially this part right here. Uh, I think it's a big improvement over what was there. So um, we'll say we can move on from that one. And here we've got more ghosts that we can pick up, which are looking quite interesting. And we want something fairly dark to pick that up. Hmm. Okay, how about this one? Well, that's a little bit chaotic. We got a ways to go on that. You can either leave that there for interest or get out your packing tape and use that. All right, let's see what we want to do with this one. I feel like some phthalo turquoise, some teal, and some white. And then this time use This time we'll use the um, loose hearts here. enough. Okay, let's see. Will it be better or worse? <laughs> well, that's still pretty chaotic. I... It might be better, but I'm I don't I don't love it. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna use titanium white. 
and iridescent bright gold, touch of the Indian yellow hue. Okay, let's go back to this and see if we can get something we like. Not looking good, folks. Um, better than it was, but mm, that's not, not great as far as I'm concerned. And we have that same situation where we've got quite a bit of activity here. What the heck? Let's pick it up on here. <laughs> oh, more chaos. I think I see what to do to this though, possibly. And I'm gonna try it right now. You can see that the conditions are not optimal for printing today. All right, time to get drastic. Dioxazine purple, permanent violet dark, a little bit of white. We're gonna go back in one more time and use the singles. Heavily Duplo dependent right now. All right, we'll see. This is the last ditch effort here. There's the AC coming back on. All right, well, I think that's the most improved so far. So we'll take that one too. And then let's see what we can do with these other two. I'm gonna need a dark over this and I think we'll use the um, leaves and some phthalo blue. We'll use some sap green, a little bit of white. Going right over the ghost here because I'm not interested in any more bases right now. use the leaves this time and, and flowers. Poor thing. So, <laughs> they're, they're so floppy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Back down you go. All right, Woo, fingers crossed. Was better, um, but it certainly won't be my favorite. Uh, and we have one more to go. All right, last one. Let's use some fun stencils that I do enjoy and see if we can't make something pretty here. Green gold, primary yellow, and white. It's a little transparent. I need a little more white because it's a little bit too transparent. Okay. Love these. I'll put a link in the information. This one doesn't go with these. Go. Got one of the hearts stuck to the sheet there. Favorite of the ones that we did today. So 
Um, should have should have saved the before pictures, <laughs> but I didn't. And these are the ones that we uh, ended up creating from prints that we didn't like before. So I hope you had fun with that. I'll definitely be doing more of these. I know you must have uh, a stack of prints that aren't quite up to your standards as I do. And let's see what we can do. All right. This is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. I'll see you next time.